Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. I went to FIT, the Fashion Institute of Technology. I studied fashion design, but never made a career out of it. Got married, had my children, got divorced, got remarried. We had more children, we blended two families together, and that kept me very busy. <laughs> 50 years old and I was just beginning to find myself, which is wonderful. Took a class in hand-dyed silks, put the brush on the silk with the dye, watched it spread all over the silk and thought to myself, wow, this is it. This is it, 50 years of looking for the right way to do my art, and I found it. The natural thing is to first of all make a scarf, which everyone does, and I made about close to a thousand probably. <laughs> then I started making uh, clothing, kimonos, cocoon shapes, very exotic things, because I think that the hand-dyed silk called for exotic shapes. I was in heaven. I'd come up here to the studio every day and think, God, I was the luckiest person in the world. Until one day, there was a diagnosis of breast cancer. Came through it all quite unscathed and fine, thank goodness. But I came up to the studio, I looked at my dyes, all these bottles of dyes, and I said, chemicals cannot be good for me. So I stopped using them. When I looked at the piles of the silk, I realized I could take them to another step and do uh, fabric collage creations. And basically what I did were mandalas. Mandalas are a meditation symbol. They're a healing symbol. And it took me through a, a difficult time. I scrounge around in my piles of rust, which I have picked up from every street corner I've ever been on, from Rio to Italy to Sea Cliff, and it all comes together. The rust is so the opposite of this beautiful fine silk, they somehow balance each other. And then in the middle, to connect the rust and the silk, there are beads, crystals, and other found objects. Bottle caps, they're magic. They're circular, they've lived a whole different life, and now they're gonna live a different life, sitting on a bed of silk and crystal. They'll be very happy there. Recently I went with some friends to Fort Point. It's a, an old, old fort, a couple hundred years old, under the Golden Gate Bridge. And I went up at the top and I was walking around and there's pieces of iron there that are part of the structure that are, where literally the pieces are just shaving off. They're falling apart. And whenever I see something like that, I, I think of mom, not because they're old, <laughs> but because they're beautiful and I know that she can possibly do something with it. I, every now and then I find something and bring it to her, send it to her. This will be the centerpiece of a new mandala. <laughs> The last time I used them had to have been eight years ago. So they're all still sitting there. They meant so much to me. It, it answered so many questions and it put me in a place that I never realized I would be in and a place that would make me so happy with creation. I, I can't let them go. And I do think that at some point, someday, maybe soon, I will use them again but in a different manner. Yes, they are there because they're hope. <laughs>